Yeah, it's going to be cold through here. I want to thank Sam with our Viper cast this morning. We're looking at snow, but yesterday we had that snow squall. Uh, Sam was in an airplane and was able to take this shot. You can see where the wind farm is here and just how heavy and blinding that snow was that came through here yesterday over I-15 between 7:30 and 8:30. We want to thank him for sharing uh, his weather picture from, I guess, his flight headed back home. But if it first fell this morning, the kids, it's going to be chilly cold, 21 degrees with overcast conditions, maybe a few leftover showers as you get into uh, western Wyoming and the highlands uh, down, you know, Rexburg up into uh, Ashton, and then you cruise on over into Alpine. There may be some snow that is flying here up until about noontime. The winds are pretty brisk. It'll cut down those temperatures. We're in the 20s this morning. It makes it feel like we're in some single digits. We're only going to hit the upper 20s for the day today. Plan your day like this. Uh, find heat and stay in it. And uh, DoorDash is always good, but you know, having people on the roads is dangerous because there's slush and it's frozen and we're doing a good job of scraping and spraying, but uh, the secondary roads in those neighborhoods, they'll grab you. They'll grab you from behind and flip you around. We're not used to this. This hadn't happened in a while. We're back to it though. It, it's, isn't it nice to have winter back? It was June when we last saw it. Uh, 25 in Pocatello, Jackson at 20 degrees and things are frozen this morning at Henry's Lake, Idaho Falls. You can see those slushy trails on the exit ramp. There Yesterday, we hit 41 degrees. Do you know our average temperature for this time of the year is around 46? We're missing the mark on this, okay? It is slick this morning. Our lows are on par, but we've got that cold wind. Uh, and in Pocatello, it feels like it's 11 degrees with an 18-mile-an-hour breeze rolling up in here as the sun prepares to come up at 715. Here's the state line, Ida Womies. That's all, y'alls. Uh, it's going to be slick. Don't end up in a ditch like my buddy Ben did this morning. 25 and cloudy. It feels like it's 12 in Idaho Falls off and on snows. And here's a live look at Buffalo Way. This is downtown Jackson Hole across from the Gables and Albertsons where uh, things are moving. But be careful not to fishtail. 19 is where our temperature is in Driggs. It's 13 in Island Park, 19 in Soda, and about 20 degrees as you get over toward Etna this morning, and the breeze is 18 plus miles an hour gusting. It makes it feel like it's 7 degrees in Jackson and Dubois and Ledor, so that's lucky. And in, uh, where is that? Ch uh, catch them as well. Catch them if you can. Uh, find somebody to hug. It'll be uh, feeling like it's 12 degrees in Idaho Falls. So the valley is getting a lot of that cold air this morning and chilly conditions, but high pressure is to thank for that. And we're, we're, we're getting rid of the snow. Now it's going to blast out of here. We're going to settle things down. High means dry and you'll see some sunshine, but it is very deceptive. The Viper cast with that last little bit of snow ending about into the early afternoon for the upper eastern highlands and the parks and on into Jackson and down into the Star Valley. Bold sun shine with a few clouds into tomorrow morning and then we get that just cold dry weather around here and you may see a slight shower chance with a, another front but I don't think it's much going to happen. It's just going to warm up a little bit with some uh, insulation around here. We're going to see 5, 10 mile an hour breezes and the temperature will rise as we get towards Saturday but it's going to be bitter cold around here. You're going to need to put a three dog night into play because we'll see single digit temperatures around here. We'll get to 14 tonight in Blackfoot and uh, still some cloudiness approaching on into Friday and then we get to about 30 degrees for Saturday and then we'll pull the plug on that and we'll drop the temperatures again and get some more solid cold air in here for next week. So a dry and snowy morning for a lot of us. It is slick. Don't get caught off guard, okay? There are going to be some patches and there'll probably be some black ice as well. It's going to be below zero tonight in Salmon. That means anything that flies will freeze. It'll be 21 for tomorrow. The weekend it looks solid, cold around here. Jackson, it's going to be down to five degrees tonight. We'll be below zero as we head into Saturday morning. Pocatello, more of the same, right around freezing. We'll finally get above that on into Saturday. And remember, anything that melts will freeze again with temperatures in the tweens, teens, and single digits digits around here. Here's our question of the day. We're counting down to turkey time. Share your Thanksgiving tradition with us. I want to hear about it. You could win some concert tickets too. 208-534-9957. Let us know. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jeff.